Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Derber with my wife, Alberta Derber, and just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's Word yeah. once again. Luke 137 says, For with God, nothing, nothing. shall be impossible, and it is Friday the 13th. Isn't that weird how people... Fabulous. fabulous. It's a fabulous Friday for us. Fabulous Friday, exactly. Hallelujah. You know that 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 superstition about thirteen is an unlucky number. You know, I've been we've been in elevators that they wouldn't even put a in hotels. Yeah, they elevators. wouldn't even put a thirteenth floor in. Yeah. You know, a number they go from twelve to fourteen. They, they said it was known that people would uh, get off on the thirteenth floor if they if they had a room on the thirteenth floor they'd commit suicide, jump out of windows. Yeah, I mean, crazy. this was things years back. That's that's why they it's, did that. It's bad luck. Watch this. Let me let, let me let me uh, let me spiritualize if thirteen some people forty. Didn't have let me luck. check out your math ability. Oh, don't do that, please. How don't. many <laughs> disciples did Jesus have in that little group there? Twelve, and he made Twelve. thirteen. Oh, right, hang on. <laughs> We're gonna do the math. Okay. So he had twelve disciples. Besides himself. So himself makes one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let me so let me check out your your brain here. What is one plus twelve? Uh, Fourteen? Twelve? Uh, uh, thirteen. 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 And thirteen, you know, uh has has always had this like we were talking about, this yeah. superstitious. superstitious. How about supernatural? There you go. Well, 13, you know, that's the number of rebellion. Right. We're rebelling against the devil. Come on. We're rebelling right. against that Babylonian system. Glory be to God. Anyways, it's fabulous Friday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we better get into this big, long one today. And we're... We're, we're, we're not in the superstition. No, we're not. It's crazy. We're in the supernatural. It's a fabulous day. It's a fabulous and day. And we're going to get into our new creation reality and have a fabulous day. You ready, hon? I'm ready. Okay, today's scripture verse is from 1 John chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Mm-hmm. Mm. This passage of scripture is not written to sinners, but to righteous ones, the Christians. Of course, a sinner could read this verse, call out to Jesus and be born again. Father God is not going to say to a sinner, that verse doesn't pertain to you. Yeah. If a sinner reads this verse, which was written to Christians, and sees the need for a savior, Father God is going to receive him. However, this verse is directed to the born-again believer who may, at some time in his life, sin. We have an advocate, which is a counsel of defense, a lawyer with Father God, Jesus Christ, the Righteous. Jesus has many titles that identify certain areas of redemption. He is our savior, our healer, our provider, our protector, our miracle worker, and the list goes on and on. Here, Jesus is our advocate, and it, and it gives his qualifying credentials as well. Jesus Christ, which means Jesus the anointed one, the righteous. Lawyers have specific areas of specialty in which they practice. It may be criminal justice, political justice, estate settlements, personal in injury, etc. Jesus practices in them all, practices in them all, and passed his bar and passed his bar exam with a perfect score. But righteousness is his specialty. He has handled more sin cases than all the lawyers who have ever lived combined. And Jesus has never lost a case. Even though that prosecuting devil has 
overwhelming evidence of the past with which to condemn the one who sinned, our advocate, Jesus Christ the righteous, will have him proved innocent with a not guilty verdict. So, if you sin as a believer or go, go to Jesus, the righteous lawyer, and let him defend you through your righteousness. Yes, you were guilty of the sin, but Jesus has already served your sentence. Now this is now listen carefully. Repent and allow his word to set the record straight. I'm going to say that again. Repent. There's a gift right there. Hmm. Everybody thinks repent, the R, R word, like it's a bad word. Repent is a beautiful gift from God. It, Repentance. It, uh, what it does, what repentance does is if you allow this word, reinstates. Yeah. If you allow that terminology. Yeah. In other words, I'll allow it. The, the state before repentance is you did something wrong. Right. And even though you know that you're a Christian, an unbeliever, and you're righteous, you know that the state that you have caused through that sin oh, it's, needs to be changed. Oh, yeah. And you go to Father God via Jesus, our lawyer, the righteous one, and identifies Jesus as the advocate, Jesus the righteous, and you go to, to God for that repentance, right? Mm -hmm. And the state that you were in because of the sin, you just now got reinstated. Are you yeah. following? Yeah. And so uh, everything is cleared. You're free to go. You're free to go. <laughs> you go you go dancing right out of the court court uh courthouse. And without repenting, that don't happen. Yeah. Hey, look. Even though Jesus forgave our sins, I mean, you know, he paid the price for our sins, and he made us righteous. But without that repentance, forget yeah. it. I know what forget it's like. It. You're not receiving it. I know what it's like. And you walk to, around in condemnation. I know what it's like. Or cockiness. I know what it's like to go skipping out of a courthouse. <laughs> because I had just... Yeah been re reinstated my freedom. Oh, my goodness, looking at 21 years. Alberta, I was looking at 21 years. I'm At, at that Jesus. time, at that time, I was, uh, let's see, I would have been 24, something like that, 24 years old. And that would have put me 40. into 45. Yeah. You had 21 20. years to 24. That would have put me into 45. Oh, you were 24 years, okay. Yeah. And when that judge ruled, uh, and I was reinstated my freedom, oh, my goodness. All the charges cleared. Cleared. Now, I don't suggest you... Having to go that in front of a judge <laughs> to to identify with having all your charges cleared, but understand that one moment I'm standing in front of him and my whole future is in his hands. I remember I remember when they read the charges, oh, geez. and you know, make a long story short, uh, I froze. He said, "How do you plead?" And I'm thinking, man, if I say guilty, it's over. Because once you plead, you can't, you know, there you are. Yeah. 
And uh, you can't say up. And if I, I say if that. I say non guilty, then you know. And he took the, the judge took the microphone, took his hand, moved away, and he said, "Son, I can't yeah, help okay. you if you don't say you're guilty." There it is. <laughs> now, can I trust this judge who I don't know? Never seen him before. Watch this. Never seen him since. Thank you. I said guilty. And boy, he just started clearing those charges. And here I am. God used that man to keep me out of the penitentiary for 21 years. Yeah, there was some some hoops I had to jump through to, to uh, get through all that. I had to go through some drug programs and all that, pay a fine and stuff, but nothing. <laughs> no, Nothing compared 21 to 21 years. years, right? So let's go even further than that. We have an advocate, Jesus. He's the best defense lawyer we have because he's already paid our life sentence. Mm -hmm. Our he's bail. All, watch this. Paid our bail. And the death penalty. <laughs> My goodness. See, and it, and, it, and it says lawyers have specific areas of, sp of specialty, right? Yeah. But Jesus' specialty is righteousness. Wow. <laughs> he knows how to, you know, you, you see these billboard signs and these advertisements that say injured, call, call yeah. a hammer or whatever, that, you know. <laughs> And, and uh, we'll, we'll get you some money out of this thing. We'll, we'll make sure, you you know, well, what they're saying is we're we going to get some money out of this <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. But Jesus has never lost a case. No, he hasn't. Now, what, what kind of case was you? Basket case. <laughs> Basket case. <laughs> a lost case. <laughs> right? Right? But God took took that case anyways. You know, there's some there's some lawyers they want to hear hear what it is, whether they're going to accept the case. Honey, I was I was walking around for over 21 years before that with the death penalty, uh, three murders. Mm -hmm. That's just part of it. Mm -hmm. And when I got born again, oh, mm. you on death row. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and then. Dying from within. And how he's. Dead in yeah. trespasses and sins from them abortions and backstreet abortions. And so many, I mean, that's, that's just, you know, that was a big part because all the rest of, you Everything know. Else. How, yeah. Trying to, yeah. But it was all, every bit of, every bit of it. Was worth the death. Was worthy of the death sentence. Mm -hmm. Really. Well, the wages of sin is death. Exactly. So there you go. Yeah. But you know, somebody remember, can be listening yeah. out there and say, "Well, man, I never did. I yeah, wasn't looking right, at twenty-one right, years right. of penitentiary. I wasn't no twenty-one year drug addict. You know, I was pretty good. I didn't have any abortions. None righteous. No, not one. Before you accept Jesus as your personal savior, you were still had the death penalty. You're still going to split hell wide open. But God, who is rich in mercy, wherein he loved us, washed us in his own blood. Just think about that for a moment. Mm -hmm. Washed us in his own blood. i got to read that. That just leaped up inside of me. And when it leaps up inside of me like that, I like to look at it. It says here, in Revelation 1, verse 5, And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, mm -hmm. and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. He washed us from our sins in his own blood. He took our nasty, 
dirty, sinful uh, mess and took it and washed it with his pure, holy, sinless, precious blood. Now, who are we to sit there and say, well, I'm so unworthy. I'm just an old sinner saved by grace. No, 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 no. That's terrible. No, we have an advocate with the Father. And not only did he wash us, it says, and hath made us hath passed out. kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. I reckon. Right? I reckon. Well, uh, knowing that, that wasn't a one-time good deal. No. You know, there are, there are CEOs mm -hmm. that they hire a full-time lawyer. That lawyer don't work for nobody else. You know, you have, you have a, a lawyer, lawyers that come together and they, they have a, 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 a company, a lawyer company. A so lawyer company. I don't know what you call it, a legal team that comes together. And, you know, you, you, here in Frankfurt, we see a lot of that downtown. Yeah. But so you got three or four, five lawyers that come together and they become this uh, team, like you said. Team, and somebody has a problem, they go and one lawyer takes his one. Well, in in big business, they have to have a lawyer uh, just to handle full time, full time to handle to read over all the contracts, uh, to make sure this is right, and make sure the taxes are right, and all. You know, yeah, you got accountants, you got all this, but you have a lawyer in charge, that's just one company, right? But Jesus is our advocate. He is our full-time lawyer. So if a believer comes up and does something contrary to, that breaks the law of God, don't 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 run from your lawyer. Like really. Don't don't really don't. really. Run to him. Go to your lawyer and say, "Look, uh, I did this. Just admit it." A lawyer wants to know truth. You know, uh, uh, you know, I had public defenders, and it, and it, <laughs> what what they do? They take you in a room and they say, "Now look, if I'm going to help you, everything you tell me doesn't mean I'm going to tell the judge that." But I need to know, did you do that? Yeah. Because if you did it, then I got to know how you did it so we can get you to make it look like you didn't do it. But I need you to tell me everything. Well, Jesus is the same way. You don't don't go to Jesus and say, I don't you know. I did that because Alberta made me mad. <laughs> Are you kidding me? If you're going to work. <laughs> if you're going to go to your lawyer, if you're going to go to your defense, then you go to him with truth. Yeah. Lord, you know, I did that. I was wrong. And I repented that. Shh. Jesus said, okay, I got it. I'll, I'll, I'll clear that with the Father. Mm -hmm. Now, step into your righteousness yeah. and go do what, what I called you to do. That's it. Now, go be the husband you're supposed to be. Go be the wife you're supposed to be. Go be the parent you're supposed to be. Go be the child of God you're supposed to be. Go do what I, you know, on and on. Because that, that stuff tries, well, look, you, what, what happens when somebody gets in trouble with the law? It interrupts their whole life. You got a court date. You, it's going to cost money to defend yourself. It's going to, uh, no telling what's, uh, an effect it's going to have on the marriage, on the children or whatever. Right? Yeah. We have, this, this is strong, this is a strong uh, word. We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus the righteous. So when you're going down, you're going down the hallway 
and you're looking for the lawyer because you uh, sinned. Well, you're not looking for Jesus, the provider. No, not, not that door, not that office. You're not looking for Jesus, the healer. And you, you keep going, to, oh, Jesus, the righteous. That's the one. Knock on the door. Come on in. You go in there. And there, there he is. And, oh, I can take care of that for you. You can? How much owe you? Repent. That's wow. it. Repent. And, know, I'll, and, I, and I'll clear it in the court. It had to only be the enemy that put the lie out, that repentance. You don't need to repent, or that repentance is a bad word. Well, that what, what happened, is, Alberta? See, is a terrible thing. What happened is in religion took it. She had never taught they right. They took the truth of repentance, and they scared people with it to where they would say things like, and, and this is how I was raised. Turn you, 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 didn't, you never know Jesus might come today, and that one little sin, you'll spend eternity in hell where there is no water and the flames burning, and you're sitting there, you know, and you listen to that, and then they give an altar call. Now come down here and repent. None of us knew about new creation reality. None of us knew that you could repent on your own. None of us knew that. And so when when somebody is raised under that, and then they break free from religion through it might have been drugs and alcohol, they think they're breaking free, right? And then they come into the saving knowledge of Jesus and they hear repent. They, I know I did. Jesus. When I heard repent, I'm thinking being dangled over hell again because that's how it was taught. I don't even know how I really thought about it. Well, I never, I, growing up, I never And heard so that when, word. You, when, when you hear that kind of teaching and you identify repentance <laughs> with being hung over hell, <laughs> Then you don't want to have nothing to do with repentance, no. and then that's when that's when the goofy grace people go all the way over to the other side in the, in the ditch repent. over there, and they say because they don't want to mess with that, and they 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 say well you repent one time you it's a good deal because we're not going to hang you over hell like that when the if you get in the middle of the road with it yeah you get it in balance with what it is yeah. repentance. It's a beautiful gift. Righteousness God. makes repentance easy. easy. <laughs> and, and, and they work so well together. And, and righteousness is not an excuse. It's, 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 it, you're in right standing with God. We had, we had a lot of people when you first started yeah, teaching it years ago. It's because... It's a license to sin. Well, you know, I... I, I <laughs> Come on. I, you know... I need a license. We were learning ourselves. Yeah. And, uh, but there's a balance. There's a balance to it. But in the balance is not compromise. No. In right. the balance is just understanding, okay, uh, I, 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 I can mess up. <laughs> yeah. And if I do mess up, that repentance that I did last year doesn't cover this. I, I need to repent right now, get reinstated. And, and, and walk condemnation free and keep on going with my life. And when you, when you have that in balance, you're not, you're not trying to see uh, how much sin you can and just have this repentance card like, uh, hey, I just repent over that. I can sin right now and repent over it. And righteousness is not an excuse, see. Yeah. But our time has gotten away from us again, Alberta. It's been a good week, hasn't it? Excellent week. Wanna wanna mention wow. this one more time? Uh, our new album, All of My Heart. You've been listening to, you've been dancing this album, ain't you? And uh, the RVN band uh, just came out with this just a couple of weeks ago. And if you want a copy of it, uh, a hard copy, uh, go to rvnband.com, and you can follow instructions there or uh, Faith Victory Church, whatever, and uh, order it online and, and uh, it'll be sent to you or you can download it uh, digitally uh, on your iPhone and uh, have it there. It's a good album. It is. And the band did really, really good at that. 
at uh, putting that together. I'm waiting for a, a uh, live praise and worship CD. <laughs> really, we did a, a few really good ones. Yeah. And now we have all the equipment, better equipment rather. So you want a live album? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, you know what they say around here. What Mama Alberta wants, Mama Alberta gets. <laughs> I only want good things. Yeah, those live albums are nice. But get in church this weekend and uh, enjoy. Uh, Supernatural Friday the 13th. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. You be a blessing. Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24-7, so you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode, or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you. <laughs>